right? We don't really like that, do we? Hmm. This is just a deep reading and I'm giving you a visual landscape of your July. Second reading is a little lighter, Scorpio. Like I said, these are what the Oracle of the Radiant Sun cards look like. So we're getting, you know, different colors here, right? Different colors for different suits. This is also, you know, this is uh, Cancer and this is Pisces, right? But they're both green. So we'll go with the heart chakra with that one. You know, if you know what the auras mean. I have a book on the auras, so, you know, I'll start to um, incorporate that knowledge into my readings a little bit more. Um, you know, even though some of these colors don't align with or correlate with the, um, the, the sign that the color chakra might be associated with we still will go with that so you know the domination here you know we're giving root chakra stuff there the sacral chakra you know this is giving heart chakra right this is giving you crown chakra okay right throat chakra blue okay another heart chakra right passion okay the heart uh, the sun, the energy, right? Here we go. Health, right? Sun and Virgo. So, you know, I'm not really just, I'm not describing the cards. I'm not reading them right now. I kind of am, I guess. Anytime I look at a card, I'm reading it. Um, even like Pokemon cards, you guys, when I see them on the ground. So, as you can see, the, the, um, Rider weight reading is pretty deep and it's very much yours. It's very much your energy. And you know, spirit tells me which sign to do. And if I, um, you know, and my cards also tell me which sign to do. So when I shuffle the deck, you know, my intention was to do Scorpio. So I put that intention in the cards and you know, they usually are there with me. I've never had the cards be like, nope. It's usually when you know, I have uh, put the cards on the table and they haven't been laid. And I, um, you're getting a look at what I have here. <laughs> uh, and I haven't shuffled them, you know, with the cards ready to lay out. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, it's not Virgo. It's actually Pisces today. But that rarely happens. That probably has happened like one time. And it kind of depends on what's going on with me as well. You know, I'm, I have to, I'm struggling with that too. Because I have, you know, both my first house planets are retrograde right now. So it's making me feel a little bit slower. And they're in Capricorn. So that's my fourth house. But Scorpio, you are feeling like there's a change coming. Or you feel the change, right? You're worried about some shit. You know what I mean? You can't be bothered with some shit. You know what I mean? And this devil card never came up in the reading, right? But if I had, if I was doing a bigger spread right because i think that you know if i was going to fill in the windows for clarifications like we do when we go for a very extended version of the ascendant reading uh, or the ascendant spread then this card would have come up uh, you know undoubtedly indefinitely right so then you would have been here with the death card and you would have been here with the devil so there's some codependency, some unhealthy attachments. Maybe somebody feels underappreciated, you know, and this is in the Venus position here. So this could be talking about, you know, underappreciation matters of the heart, not seeing where it is that you fit, right? This is a puzzle piece that's kind of like missing or, you know, it's trying to jam a square peg into a circle or what, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so you can see that you're a little downtrodden. You don't feel so good about something because you really want something else, right? 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 I really want something else. 
or you're just feeling like, you know, down, you're feeling let down by something. These are the ending anxieties. This is like, you know, completion, the ruin of something, of a process, you know, kind of like not being able to go anywhere else in your head with it. Anyway, I'm not going to turn this into a reading. I just wanted to give you an in-depth visualization. And I feel like maybe this is something that I'll do. It's a little candid. You know, you get the flakes of mugwort. You get the burnings of the orange peel and all the other creatures and shit that I got on the table. Y'all don't really know what I be doing over here. Don't worry. It's not anything that's going to... You know, I just pull from the energy of things. I'm not, like, doing any spells or shit like that. But, um, yes, this is what my table looks like. These are the beautiful Oracle of the Radiant Sun cards, right? Venus and Pisces, honey. See, look, it's a beautiful place to be. You just might be feeling caged in in a beautiful place. Or maybe you're giving up more of yourself than you should. You know, parts of yourself, right? Being overly generous to a Leo. Who may not appreciate it. Or maybe, you know, someone is being generous to you. And you feel like you have to submit because of that generosity. But then what have you created and what have you given and what have you nurtured? What are you feeling dominated by? You know, action. Right? Okay. Damn. They definitely go in the same row. Hmm. There's that bird again. These messages, honey. Pay attention to what's going on in your head or what you're saying to you when birds come close to you because they do to me all the time. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny, like in the Disney movies and stuff like that. Uh, they have, I, and I'm not a big Disney fan at all, you know what I mean, really. And I worked at Disney, uh, like, in the actual park. <laughs> As, like, character dancing and shit, doing parades. But I'm not, like, crazy about Disney like a lot of other people are, and that's okay. But I do know that we need to have stuff like that to take the stuff like this. <laughs> and turn it into stuff like this it's funny because your readings you have like a sort of like the darker energy here right and then it gets a little bit lighter this is much lighter. like the oracle of the radiant sun is a pretty uh it's a pastel deck and it's oracle cards but it definitely has these planetary aspects like we have like oh my god my finger I'm gonna hold it as well. Okay, there we go. Uh, like, this is Mercury and Sag, and this is Saturn and Leo, right? So, this is Saturn and Leo, generosity, right? <laughs> and this is Saturn and Leo. So, this is generosity, and this is talking about conflict, and this is being conflicted because of the generosity. Like, these two cards are the same, right? In terms of, like, what planet it is and in that sign. So, look at that. Right? There are a lot of people here vying for the same thing that's coming from here. The attention, right? The recognition, the acknowledgement, right? So maybe maybe there's more than one. Maybe you're both looking for acknowledgement here. Because these all of these people want to be acknowledged too. That's why I love these cards because they're going to definitely bring more um, layers to the way that I read my tarot cards because these have uh, descriptions that, you know, these cards don't have, but then it's the same planetary aspect sometimes. So I love that, you know. And then I had their cards here that aren't represented in the tarot because the tarot has, like, court cards and also has major arcana cards. Um, whereas this deck only goes from, like, it only uses the Sun, Mercury, Venus, the Moon, Mars... Um, Jupiter and Saturn. There are no Uranus, Neptune, or Pluto cards here. Okay? But it's alright, because it's kind of like ancient rulership. Yeah? Um, but yes, this is your in-depth look, honey. This is your proof read. I guess I'll call it that. Scorpio, your reading was long, but it was only seemingly long just because both of them were strung together and they weren't separate. But, um, you know, this is what your readings, this, this is what your two readings look like for June, July and August, okay? 
Enjoy Scorpio. Love you guys.